Happy Valentine's Day to Mama Joyce. 祝你们初识十全十美。So where are we going for our Valentine's Day? I heard my son say, 地不懂地什么，我都没有看到他的名字，对不起。No, D S O R A. How to pronounce? Esora. <laughs> Esora. 对吗 ？Esora. 为什么 E 是 silent E 嘞？ <laughs> Elephant, ma. Yeah, so we are gonna check out this restaurant today. It, um, It's our second Japanese chef. I forgot his name. Later, we'll update you, yeah. and we'll try to get some image of him as well. So stay tuned for the videos and the photos of the food that we are having. And、if、happy. Have been here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have been here, <laughs> do us, let us、uh. know what you think about Isora. <laughs> Isora. Yeah, we guess it will soon be in the Michelin. Yeah. Yep. Because it's a very good restaurant, right? Let's see. Let's check it out. This、we'll、is come back. This is Mama Joy's、um, favorite restaurant, right? <laughs> really? I don't even know. <laughs> okay, maybe. Let me try first. Then I'll let you know whether it's my favorite or not. Yeah, you told me this is your favorite. That's why we book it for you. But you say it's a surprise. This not a surprise anymore. It's a surprise. Surprises I never go before. <laughs> okay, check it out later. Do come back. Okay,、Bye. stay tuned for more of Mama Joyce. Chen <laughs> Shi Mei. Happy birthday. So this is Isora in Mandarin. It's Huan Tian Xi Di. Xi Di. So. Let's go in to Isora. Please open the door. Isora. Okay, so this is the entrance. This, this is the thing I like. Oh, better, better. Yeah, this is so nice, very nice. The very beautiful flower. Macaroni. Okay, let's go. Hi, good afternoon. Where are we sitting? So this is our table. This is the open kitchen concept. Toilets are in front. Same thing. Dashi. Yes. This is handsome Dexter. Thank you. Dashi soup. Dashi soup. You put me under what? Ah, Joyce Tanko, is it? You put me under what? Joyce Kanto or Joyce Tanko? Okay. Should we? Wish each other 初识，岁岁平安。初识 ，I'm less cheers。我祝你，他做了，他做什么？谢谢你啊 ，It's just all around 的初识，初识，十全十美。岁岁平安，都没有 cheers。完完美美，幸福美满。Okay, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Try. Huh? Try. Very refreshing. You love it? Okay. Beside the miso soup, there's one soup called dobin mushi. It's like dobin mushi. Dobin mushi. But he used the. He used the. Mushroom. No, not mushroom. Like a bonito flakes. Yeah, Robin Mushi got the bonito flakes. Like it? Yeah, everybody is good. From five? Yeah, okay. Okay, so you can take it. From five? Upon five. Upon five. Mm. Upon five. Mm. What's that? How many upon five? Okay, five upon five. Eh,、mm. hey, honest one, ah, cannot. You know, five upon five, ah. Honest, ah. So the next course we have here is a battered scallop.、Uh, so the batter is actually made from bark. So very nice, airy and light.、Uh, inside the scallop, you'll find some、uh, seaweed and a little bit of ovary just to add some freshness. 
And at the bottom you'll find a little bit of uh, snow pea puree, uh, fresh snow peas on top, a little bit of uh, naga imu, which is the yam, just add some texture, and a little bit of fried leaf powder as well. So please enjoy. Okay, thank you. Bye. Mama Joyce, please try. Kambutang. Very aromatic. Okay, Mama Joyce, please try. How much? Wow. Okay, enjoy. So, how was the scallops? It's nice, but um, maybe the kokan and the flavor is not enough. Not strong enough and not flavorful. Scallop. If you eat the scallop, it's just scallop. So, upon five? Four. Four. Okay. Uh, scallops. How, how do you rate it? I think the scallops is. Scallops. <laughs> Don't, it's not juicy. Uh, not bursting flavorful in flavors. Enough. So I'll give it a 3 upon 5. So Mama Joyce gave 5 upon 5. Miss Mong gave 4 upon 5. I gave 3 upon 5. So the final verdict for the scallops is 4 upon 5. Catch Chef Kai Koizumi in action. <laughs> and other chef. <laughs> so we can move on next to the sashimi selections. We have uh, four different types. Uh, first one, the chef like you try will be this one over here. So this one is called Nori Sorry. Uh, they are baby eels, so very nice and uh, very nice and chewy. Uh, a very good texture. We serve it with a ponzo dressing and uh, a little bit of. Uh, we shave a little bit of uh, black orange zest on top. Our uh, next one over here is a uh, baby tuna. Uh, we marinate it in some soy sauce. We serve it with a bit of wasabi stems and on the side a little bit of wasabi as well. Okay. This one over here will be a uh, deburi. So basically it's a smoked, smoked deburi, which is a yellow tail. Uh, we serve it with some garlic soy sauce, pickled radish and Japanese leeks as well. And lastly the saba sushi, uh, marinated in a little bit of vinegar. We serve with some umeboshi on top. The chef recommends you to wrap it with the seaweed and uh, just eat it at one go. Okay, let's try. Start from here. Baby eel. So we have to go and do clockwise. Wow. Very delicate. <laughs> Jellyfish. I'll give maybe 3 or 5. 3 or 5. Mama Joyce. Why? When you say jellyfish, or eat it, I will put jellyfish. So nice, or not nice. You, you, it's a baby eel, like right? that. It's okay. It's my own. 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 
food lover. We must do it. She's not bad. Yeah. Refreshing, light. Like How many are point five? Four. Yeah, I think four. 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 You like it? Yeah, light, refreshing. Mix it. Mix it with the. Bonzu sauce inside. Okay. Snakes. I, I don't know why. Tuna. But then this is the wasabi plant. It's tuna. It's tuna. Mm. tuna. I'm not a big fan of tuna. Mm. Uh, let's try. Mm. The taste is stronger for this. It's not bad, even. I'll give a four for five. Four for five. Yeah. Mama Joyce. I have not tasted tuna before and I'm not afraid of tuna. Just so you can see, I'm putting a lot of wasabi, the fresh wasabi leaf and the wasabi on top. And I'm going to try, give it a try. I hope I don't puke. How is the texture? Very delicate and fine. Mm. Upon five? Four upon five. The other really? one is my fault because I don't know how to push it. Mm. Mm. See, Mr. Ng is concentrating. How is it, Mr. Ng? I think not bad. 4 for 5. The vegetables adds the crunch. Yeah. Um, and stronger flavors. Yeah, it makes it special. But it doesn't give you that kind of wow. fire to the moon yeah. feeling. So it doesn't get a 5 upon 5. Yeah. 4 upon 5. Okay. Enjoy. Enjoy. And uh, I tried the food. This is the yellow tail. And uh, they have this, all this green scent. is called Japanese pig. And a lot of uh, garlic with uh, light soya sauce. I suppose it's some uh, soya sauce. How many are point five? Oh, I prefer the tuna Okay. Okay. Mister Ng, your turn. Our background is very noisy. How is it? Sauce blends well with the fish. Um, 
so it's a mackerel, so we actually have to remove the tongue. Next time, what is this? A uh, pickle. A pickle. A burri. A burri. So this very smoky. This yeah. adds a uh, crunchy texture. It tastes like chai pao. Radish wow. is chai pao. Yeah, it's like chai pao. It is chai pao, sorry. So it's quite interesting. Pao is fine. Okay. Okay, yellow tail time. So Miss Mong is trying the yellow tail now. How is it? You don't have the wow factor, but you say it's nice. Then four point five. Yeah, four point five. Right? Yes. Yeah. Overall verdict four point five. Great. Mama Joyce, we are going for the last sashimi. Hey, welcome back to sashimi, but there's rice here. You know? Anyway. This is called saba or called makro. Oh, is it? Yeah, makro. Uh, so you've got to wrap it up in the seaweed. Wrap it up the seaweed. One go. And then we have to put the whole thing in our Stuff mouth. Stuff in your mouth. Sorry, yeah, I'll be very unsightly, but I'm not sure. Let me try. Hong Fei Ho. Tell us about it. What do you like about it? I love it, but it's too vinegar. Ah, it's too sweet. Ah, that one I don't like. Now we have five or five, but too sweet. Yeah. Wow. Okay, Miss Wong, let's do it. Macaroon in seaweed. What's lacking? Like don't have texture. Then the flavors are decent, but not not, not mind blowing. Ah, not mind blowing. Like very normal. Lah. That's why I give three point five. Lah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Mr. Ng, your turn. How is it? <laughs> For me, I think it is a two upon five. I don't know why. Um, is it uh, the last, the last one? Because when I first put it into my mouth, the seaweed. I felt it could be those um, crispy type of seaweed, a crunchy one, will be better. When the seaweed enters the mouth, it's like noir, um, softened. So it the softened seaweed doesn't go well with the rice, and then it just produces a very mushy kind of texture. In yeah, and then the fish. Like, it doesn't go well with the entire combination. 
So as you eat, right, the, the thing gets stuck in your teeth and mm. all over your mouth. Is that, it's just wrong. Okay. That's why the aftertaste is not good. That's why it's a letdown, it's a poor food. Okay, so overall, it's how many? Overall, I think the best. Um, I go for this uh, yellow tail. Yeah, I also go for yellow tail. Okay, so. Um, yellow tail. I choose yellow tail. I choose yellow tail. <laughs> Mama Joyce chose tuna. Tuna. Okay, so today's winner is yellow tail. So the next course uh, we have here is a chow mushi. So at the bottom of course you'll find a Japanese custard cake custard. Uh, at the top, we top it off with a grilled anago. Um, so with the fresh water you, we grill it with uh, a little of soy dressing. And we top it off uh, with some orange peel as well. And uh, a very nice uh, thick balsamic. Just to have the acidity to pair out the fattiness of the anago. And of course lots of spring onions as well. Okay, okay enjoy. thank you. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Ng, let's try. Tuck in. More dish like that. Chawamushi Anago Fresh water Fresh water With a lot of spring onion And a pinch of Wasabi uh, And wasabi <laughs> Put in Come on Very nice. But, but you see the eel is soft. Okay. The chawamushi is soft. also soft. soft. So when the two soft things go into your mouth, it becomes very soft. <laughs> then the other is shook, you know? It's shook. So if, if like, there is a layer of like, crispy thing inside, wow, it will be very like good. Okay. Yeah, you try it and let me know. What I mean, I mean. Yeah, come on. The taste is nice. Mm. But you won't crave for it. Uh. I feel uh, if you won't instead of the this kind of green thing, uh, if they put the chong tou yu, uh, those fried oh. onion, uh, crispy, crispy, uh, wow, sure, very good. The Japanese don't do it. Eh? No, I'm just you try. Wait, Stop it first. Let's do it. How is it? Not bad. Not bad. It's not that fantastic. I will not. Yeah, I so, what do you not like about it? The smashiness. I don't like the smash smash thing. Too soft, right? Mm. Yeah. The combination was too soft. So, you grade? Two and a half. Two and a half. Miss Wong? Three. Three. You? I grade four. Taste is good but too soft. There should be more crunchy texture. 
is uh, our main dish, air fried omi wa deal beef, uh, rump pad. So today we start with uh, 5 years uh, aged red vinegar sauce with uh, shiitake mushroom puree. On the side there is a uh, uh, mixed, half, mixed half salad. So this salad mixed with uh, shio kombu which is a uh, salted seaweed. So please eat with uh, salt and a bit of wasabi. You are a Japanese? Yes. <laughs> You're going to have a, a group kimidai. So the kimidai each for about one week just to really break down the structure of the protein, make it softer, uh, more umami flavor as well. Uh, so we serve it on the binchotan and we serve it with uh, some uh, kind of like a vegetable medley. Uh, we have a, a grilled fiddle heads with a season and of course some Japanese uh, kailan as well. Uh, so what is the binchotan? Binchotan is basically the, the charcoal fire. So Japanese youths have this, uh, they grill, they basically use this uh, binchotan which is the charcoal. So this is the one that thing over there. Just, it's basically just charcoal. Basically just charcoal. Change a new towel thing. Yeah. Le binchotan means charcoal. It's just called binchotan. Binchotan. Bin yeah. ah. Change for me. Yeah, change for me. So binchotan uh, gives it a different flavor. Very high heat. Um, and preserves the moisture inside the protein. Wow. Yes. Okay. Thanks, thanks. You're welcome. He may die, I should have ordered it, but Mama Joyce is having it today. Let's see if it's nice. Let's see whether it's as good. Wow. Mm, Japanese kailan. Look at the skin, the spikes. They take out the spike for me already. Okay, itatakimasu. Without the vegetable, but you haven't cooled. Better. Good. Fatty? Three and a half. Huh? Three and a half. Wow. So, Jan is better? So lucky we did that one. A5 Omi Wagyu. This is what Miss Mong is having. Let's check it out. Tender? Yep. Put a bit of salt. This is the right choice. <laughs> I got no choice. Just <laughs> let me see the veggie. Is it bitter? This is the friend. I like. How much? 5 or 5. 4 or 5. What's lacking? What's lacking? Let me taste one more time. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. But not the best. So what is lacking? I don't know. Something. Something missing. Okay, buddy. So maybe they put some fried garlic and go with it. Wow, we good. How about this sauce? Can you try with this sauce? This is the mushroom sauce, right? Do you? The sauce is that. Okay, so verdict? 4 upon 5. Okay, Mr. Ng. Cow eating cow. Absent. Absent eating cow. Cow eating cow, is it? The cow? Look at the way to This is uh, Mr. Ng is Singapore Wagyu. He needs to massage every day, uh, have good food, relax, listen music. And this one is from Japan. This one from Japan. So he, Singapore is eating Japanese uh, cow. Oh. Uh oh. It don't look good on his face. <laughs> Maybe it's a camouflage. 
I think five or five. Hmm. <laughs> okay. You think it's the best? No, it's not the best. But it's good, right? It's good because outside you know, char grill mm. to crispy. Wow. Yeah. Inside you juicy. You put in your mouth, uh, there is the char grill taste so intense. Intense. But the only downside is that when you bite, the, the juices doesn't flow out. Flow out. Mm. If it can flow out, uh, well, another yeah. five, really five or five. So this is four or five, five uh. Oh, this oh, is yeah. five or five. Five or five. Okay. But how to make it yeah, it with a star? Uh. It will fly to the moon if I have more juices. Burst out. Uh. Not burst out, flow out. Okay. Uh, As you bite, uh, the juices flow out. Anything to add? No, it's not Yeah, It's very good. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's try the vegetable first. Since Mama just said it's so good. <laughs> Bit salty also. A lot of sauce. Bitter. Bitter? Um, yeah. Like a pesticide. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a pesticide. It's like If you like vegetables, you must eat Bio's vegetables. Mm. The others can pack in one side. Go. Like mm. very normal. Like umami, no. This no, is umami. Like two or five. Mm-hmm. Two, two or three inside. Okay, lor. Okay, inside. Okay. Then. Okay. 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 So basically the next course, uh, we're end off with a rice dish, uh, basically it's called a zosui. Zosui just basically means a Japanese style porridge, cooked it in a clay pot. So you're going to get lots of the, the smokiness from the clay pot as well inside the porridge. So inside we have a lot of masuba, uh, snow crab from Tozori region. So chef just basically cooks the porridge inside the clay pot and a little bit of eggs inside just to get a bit more texture as well. Very light, simple dish just to end off the meal. Okay? So chef will just portion up for you. Okay. Okay, after two hours sitting at Isora, I started to feel very frustrated already because it's getting so compressed. Confined. Confined, very draggy. So now we are having the porridge. Porridge? Chef porridge. (laughs) Chef rice, I don't know what is it. Something like crab rice. You know, like we see mui fan. Yeah, mui fan. fan. Half rice, half porridge. I see my fried rice at Nice. Huh. It's nice, but it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. You like it? Two point five. <laughs> it's um very man. There's nothing fantastic. What do you think of Stephen Chicken's porridge? Mind Lobster room. porridge. Yeah. Insanely mind blowing. This is porridge. Is it porridge? Who is in the menu? Half porridge, half rice. Who is in the menu? You ask. Okay, lah. So. 
I mean, the taste got the more, the more intense, flavorful. Mm. It's all lacking inside here. Yeah. It's not a great way to end off the meal. Okay. Yeah, so it's, the frustration level is like already here. Boiling, boiling. Can't wait to get out of this place and get some cakes. <laughs> okay. So for the next course, uh, the dessert course, we're going to have here a very simple light dessert. Uh, at the bottom, you'll find a strawberry sorbet made from Toshigi strawberries. And the foam that you see is actually uh, made from so, which is a, kind of like a, a cheese, uh, but done in a caramelized style. It feels like a, a fudge. Uh, we serve it with uh, fresh Toshigi strawberries as well. And a little bit of Hanaho flowers just to add more uh, floral notes to the whole dish. Okay, please enjoy. Thank you. Dessert time, strawberry sorbet. Sakura flower. Fresh strawberry. You like it? Yeah, I, I better than the rest. I think this is the. How many about five? Four. Four upon five. Four five. Okay. This small? Mine is. Uh, Okay, that's Can you tell me how is it like? Is it as good as four or five? Very refreshing in mine. Mama Joyce's one is strawberry. Very strawberry, yeah. Strawberries. Ah, okay. Okay, let's try this. You must close your eyes. You think you are. <laughs> Maybe you haven't tried. Ah, uh. one day I'll bring you there. <laughs> like strawberry yogurt. Mm. Uh, like strawberry. So personally, I don't fancy this kind of um, fruity kind of dessert. Mm. Um, so how many upon five? Like, uh, two upon five. Mm. Same. Nothing to shout about. Yeah. No, no, not, not mind blowing. You know, like example when I'm very chan, when I'm eating limone by Simone, do you remember? Mm. Yeah, that is like five upon five. It blows you away. And they are ivory caramel. Yeah. Wow. Tokong. So, two upon five. Yeah. Okay. okay. Move on, um, some Japanese sweets or wagashi to end off the meal. So the first one that Chef Lucky you try will be the mochi ice cream. For the two of you, you're going to have inside uh, a little of uh, passion fruit and mango as well. And for you, Miss, uh, strawberry sorbet. Uh, you know, okay. uh, the next one we have here is a chew puff. Uh, so inside this chew puff, you'll find a uh, caramelized banana and a bit of azuki red bean cream as well. Okay. And lastly, uh, some wasabon castella cake uh, made from wasabon sugar. So basically, wasabon sugar is a very fine uh, sugar um, that we use to make it uh, more like a caramelized texture uh, for the whole cake. And make it a bit more smoother as well. Okay, so just uh, some smoothies to end off the meal. Alright, thanks guys. Ah, so the tea is basically a, a, a green tea oku midori. Uh, we infuse it with some sudachi lime just to add some acidity. Uh, just to really pair well with the sweet desserts. Nice. Okay. Right. We just had our meal at Sora. And it's a letdown. Yeah, Mama Joyce, how do you find? I'm crying. This mom? Very mad. How do you feel about it? Very Mediocre. sad. Mediocre. I think it will not Because the first visit is good, the second visit is to test whether can sustain the, the kind of image in our, 
our mind and heart. But uh, too bad we failed. Feel, feel the mission feel. Okay, so let's grade it. The experience rating. Um, what's the value? Value I put today it is one upon five. Huh? Value check low. Yeah, mm. no value. Oh. Um, how about the quality, Mama Joyce? Three upon you look five. Look at my diamond ring, uh. Three upon five. Three upon five. And uh, ambience. Ambience. No ambience. Maybe very confined. Very noisy. Two upon five. It's it's neat but cannot sit long. Yep, so ambience is... I go in ah, uh. go straight. Ambience is... I feel the ambience is very compressing. I find very confined. Yeah, because everywhere is um, like concealed up in that small little shop house. It's very noisy. Yeah, and the group behind us was ridiculously noisy. It's I, like capsule. I don't know why they need to talk so loud. So, what's the service? Dexter is good. Dexter is very attentive. I like him. Only Dexter. Yeah. The staff um, was much better in the first time that we went. But this time only Dexter was good service. He is very attentive, very uh, cheerful, yeah. very courteous, uh, bring positive energy to the customers. But I don't blame them. Uh, maybe busy today full house. That time we come also full house. So that's great. The overall rating, Mama Joyce? Two and a half for everything. Two and a half upon five. This more. Two upon five. And I grade it two upon five. So overall it is? Two upon five. One point seven five. Overall rating is two upon five. Okay, so for Isora. Today they scored two upon five. So if you have been there or you are, or you haven't been there, you want to go there, do let us know what do you think about Sora. Okay, so do look forward for more of the experience undercover videos. Um, we are urging you to become an undercover surveyor as well. So go out there, check out your most beloved restaurants or hotels. Go and grade them, alright? Keep them on their toes so that they always give good value and good service to customers like us, okay? So in the meantime, take good care of yourself and always remember that we love you so, so much. Stay, stay tuned for more of Mama Joyce.